there was battles going on all the time. And they fought day and night, and we fought day and night. I enlisted uh, in the Army in uh, 1940, a year and a half before Pearl Harbor, and uh, I lied about my age to get in. I took the infantry. I guess that's uh, one of the worst things you could do is be in the infantry, but uh, I never regretted it because uh, I was able to be right in the engagements as they were and to learn uh, what it was all about a lot better than most of the guys that were in the Army. There was only 10% that was in the infantry, they say, and the 10% suffered the most casualties because they were the ones that faced the enemy face to face. We went to Africa in 42 in the invasion of, of Safi, French Morocco. And then in 43, we went in the invasion of Sicily with Patton again. And then in uh, 44, of course, we went to Normandy. In Africa in 42, I remember this one so well because it was the first action. And you never forget the first action. And you never forget the first bullet. Somebody fired on us and as, as we were moving in, a bullet went right past my ear and I hit the ground real fast and uh, at that time I was 19 years old I had 48 men I was a platoon sergeant then and uh, so I'm saying to myself what the hell are you doing here you, you lied about your age you didn't have to be here and uh, here you are getting shot at and uh, you could get killed this way. And it's, it's the first time really in combat, any combat that any of the guys were ever in, the first time they were shot at, they finally realized this is kill or be killed. So get up and move. So that when, he, when that came to me, get up and move, I got up and moved. And uh, my men all got up and moved too. And we went on to take the town and we took the town of Safi. Well, uh, people have asked me on many occasions that you were in so many different uh, battles and stuff like that. Uh, how many times do you think that you almost got it, that you didn't? And I, I said, well, I'll have to check it. And so I got to checking them and I come up with 24 times. So one of the school teachers uh, at Jenks High School says, well, will you write a book about the 24 times you almost got it? So I says, I will. So I wrote it. First German tank came around the corner and he fired and the blast, uh, the side blast from it scattered debris and everything and uh, some of it tore my pants leg and uh, lifted me up on top of the wall and I fell on the other side and uh, of course when I fell down on the other side, I couldn't walk anymore because my leg was injured, and so I had to crawl the rest of the night. And so they took me to an aid station and took me to decide that they, we couldn't do anything here, we'd take him to England. And so they took me to England and uh, they sent me to two psychiatrists. First psychiatrist said, you're crazy. and. Uh, I said, no, I'm not. So they sent me to another psychiatrist and uh, he says, you're not crazy, but I'm gonna do you a favor. I says, what's that? He says, you've been in three invasions. I'm gonna send you home. I said, I'm not going home. He says, where are you going? I said, back up there with my guys. He says, you wanna go back up there and get shot at some more? I said, those are my guys up there. I says, I'm not gonna sit at home and listen to a radio and wonder what's happening to them. Those are my guys and I'm going back up there. He says, okay, you're really crazy and I'm sending you back. So they did send me back and I uh, got back. We went to France, Belgium, Holland, Germany. I got, uh, got discharged and uh, getting on the bus when I come home and everybody in those days, the buses were so crowded, you stood up and held on and, uh, and uh, one of the Young girls got up, and she must have been about 15 maybe or something, and she said, soldier, take my seat. That was the greatest thing that happened to me during the whole time is that gal saying, soldier, take my seat, because that was welcome home. That was really it. <laughs>